six to see. Now, the men's 110 meter high hurdles. A high school best belonging to Skeet, Ronaldo Nehemiah. And the Keebler mark also belonging to Nehemiah, both established some 12 years ago. In lane one, Peter Simmons in lane two from Benton Harbor, Michigan, Larry Harden. Zach Chapman is in lane two, in lane three, pardon me, out in lane four. Glenn Terry will try and become a two-time winner. In lane five, Larry Ryans out in lane six, Joe Jones, Eric Klassen and Fred Freeman out in lane eight, round out this capacity field. What you were seeing was from the right to the left is the way Phil was reading that. On the outside, there you see the numbers get higher right to left. There you see Glenn Terry with a gold top. Next to him is the man who has the number nine all-time time at the 110-meter high hurdles for high schoolers. That's Larry Ryans. And this year, Terry is only one one-hundredth of a second behind him. This should be a terrific confrontation. Watch in the middle of the track, lanes four and five. Right there. And it is Terry Ryans clearing the first two hurdles together. It is Zach Chapman in lane three. Chapman, Terry, and Ryans. Oh, what a race. And now it is a two-man race. Chapman and Terry. Oh, my, Glenn Terry becomes Keebler's second two-time champion. Earlier today, Dory Reeves captured the women's discus and shot. Boy, what an explosion by Glenn Terry. We'll have to see if it's wind-aided, Phil. I have an unofficial time here of 13 and 4 tenths of a second. Terrific time. Look at these guys. It, it is truly like the Rockettes going over these hurdles. Look at the, the unison. There are only one one-hundredth of a second apart in different parts of the country and the times. And look at it. It shows right here. Look at the effort, and Terry does it on the run-in. Lean at the tape while you look at how hard they're leaning. By inches. Earlier today, he won the 300-meter intermediate hurdles, and just a moment ago, Glenn Terry captures his second championship here at the Keebler, winning the 110-meter hurdles. Larry Ryan finishes second, and in third place, Joe Jones. And Glenn, we meet again in the finish area. You seem to be the man of the afternoon, your second gold medal. What was going through your mind as Larry Ryans was matching your every step? Uh, basically get over the hurdle, get my steps back, and I, I got a real slow start. I was like third, third or fourth to the first hurdle, and basically to get back in, keep strong, go for that finish line. Okay, fine job this afternoon, and we've got the mile coming up. Bill?